How to get hamsters in Adopt Me. There is three brand new variations of hamsters coming into Adopt Me very soon. This includes the ultra rare regular hamster, the legendary golden hamster, and also the legendary diamond hamster. But how do you actually go and get these hamsters in Adopt Me? First of all, you need to go and head inside of the pet shop, the location where you can go and tame one of the brand new hamsters. These hamsters are obtainable via a lucky item. In the same way that going and using a fishing rod works where you have a percentage chance of going and getting a rarer variation, the same is going to be working in here. Adomi shared this video where there is a very cute looking hamster with some cool pet wear standing in the middle of all of these other hamsters running around. All right, these are all the little cute hamsters that you could possibly get. This one's a golden one, this one's a regular one. Slightly hard to tell the difference between the golden and a regular, which is interesting. I thought it would have been a bit more shiny. And to go and get yourself one of these hamsters, you need this item. This item is called the Golden Corn. To go and get it, you need to spend 199 Robux. So the only way to obtain these brand new hamsters is with Robux or there's a second way. You wanna know the second way? Well, I'm simply going and giving away a bunch of the corn to my subscribers. So if you want one, make sure to like this video, comment your Roblox username, and be subscribed. There's always going to be some players who are slightly disappointed that the new item goes and costs you Robux, but we did literally just get a beach update which is completely free. And inside of the beach update, obviously we can go and get ourselves the Mahi Mahis, which are a free pet bait, which I'm trying to to go and head there right now but my driving skills are actually shocking so let's see how the mahi mahi works in case you guys kind of forgot it's basically the same thing but this was a free one so obviously you could buy this with bucks which is why I guess it done he's going and giving us a Robux one. They're not actually replacing anything inside of the shop. So there's no pets that are actually going to be leaving the game, which is uh, quite surprising to be honest. Do I have any fishing rods? I thought I did. Oh, I do, I do. Let's actually test this out, see if we can go and uh, get ourselves a legendary. So the odds aren't currently confirmed, but I imagine it would be pretty similar to the regular odds of going and getting a diamond pet. And uh, if we're not sure what those odds are, let's actually go and check that out, because I haven't actually checked out those odds for a little while. So to go and do that, what you want to do is head to a dealership, the car dealership, and then go and run into the ice cream shop. So these things have not been confirmed yet, but it's practically the same for every single one. And I just want to double facts check before I go and uh, tell you this information that I might be wrong. Normally the diamond is 2.5% and the golden is 10%. So one in 10 would be a golden one, which is probably what's going to happen with these brand new hamsters. And 2.5% uh, is also known as 1 in 40. So your odds will be 1 in 40 of going and getting yourself the, uh, the rarest one possible. For example, the same thing with like the queen bee, that is 1 in 40. Same with like the diamond ladybug, 1 in 40. I mean, there's a bunch of diamond pets and they're basically always 1 in 40. If Adobe decides to go and change that, then that might be very strange if they did decide to go and do it. That's not the only new thing that we are going and getting inside of Adopt Me. Some of this is actually really cool. In case you go and decorate your house or do building in Adopt Me and you want to go and display vehicles, pets, items or toys, previously there was only one way to display it. But now Adopt Me is going and giving us new displays. To be exact, there is three new styles of display so we got the fiery one then we got this icy one which is really cool it's kind of all glowing your pets on a pedestal the vehicles like in ice the strollers are like really cool and nicely decorated or there's like this golden royalist style of this new way to go and display your pets like how cool is that displaying a car on this giant red carpet inside of your house. I think that's just a really cool feature and a bunch of players who like going and doing building in Adopt Me are probably gonna be pretty happy with this update. But the thing is, Adopt Me didn't reveal absolutely everything. So I recently got a message by Roblox themselves. 
I'm not even lying. And Roblox has confirmed that we're going and getting something called the hunt. And if you don't know what that is, it's a literal egg hunt inside of Adopt Me. I still have the very rare old egg from the previous egg hunt, if I can find it, yeah, the Easter 2020 egg. So Adopt Me is actually participating in this. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% certain. If we go onto the Adopt Me website and go and scroll down to the badges, if you haven't seen me say this already, there is this brand new badge called Work in Progress, all right? And basically, this badge was added at the same time that Roblox announced we are going and getting a hunt. Now, Adopt Me doesn't just randomly go and add badges. Like, they haven't given us a badge to go and earn for a very long time. And the only reason that they would go and add a badge is if it was for an event. Which is why Roblox is going to be participating with Adopt Me in the hunt. I'm pretty sure I'm 99% certain if I'm wrong, then that is a big oof. But Roblox did actually give me some top secret information, which I think I can share. They said that there is a brand new egg launcher, a launcher where I can go and give out free eggs. You heard me right. If you meet me in Roblox, I get to launch out a completely free egg, which is crazy, right? They're giving it to people who are in the star program, which means if you have a star code and my star code is candy In case you don't know what a star code is, let me go and demonstrate So when you press buy robux, let's say you want to buy five dollars worth of robux There's a button here that says support a star if you type the word candy and press add it says you're supporting cookie cutter It just means that I get like a small commission. Yeah, it says it here um, you don't actually lose anything. You keep the Robux you pay for. The only thing that people are losing is Ro Roblox is losing money basically by giving uh, a small commission to me. You help support me. That's the idea of the star code. So because I have one of those codes, it means I can just give out free eggs inside of Roblox, which is really cool because these eggs can actually be sold for Robux in the future. So if I was you, I would be subscribed with notifications because I've got a pretty cool video coming up soon where I'm going to be live streaming giving away these eggs so you guys are not going to want to miss that but as for the hamsters i'll probably also do like a little live stream giving these away or maybe i'll do a video where i go and open a hundred of these they're 200 robux each so what's that 20,000 robux do you think i should spend 20,000 robux on that video honestly i don't know yet but let me know in the comments See me fish 100 Mahi Mahi and adopt me, you need to click here right now. I think you're really going to go and like this video next, and you'll be interested to see how many legendaries we actually get when we open 100 of them. Click here to go and watch it.